Hello, my name's Gary, and for today's demonstration, I'm going to see if I can put a copper plate on this bolt. The procedure for doing this is to take some lemon juice and put it in a glass jar. And next, you take a pinch of salt and you add it to the lemon juice. Now that's got to activate for a few minutes. So you set it aside for about three minutes. Now we got to make sure that this bowl is very clean. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some steel wool, see if I can shine it up. And the next thing after I do this, it'll be off camera. I'm going to use some cleanser and wash the bolt and a nut for that matter. And rinse it off and get it ready. Three minutes have now passed and the vinegar and salt solution is now activated. So I'm going to stir it with my finger a little bit, drop in the bolt, and add the pennies, which is the source of the copper for the copper plating. Fifteen minutes have now passed, and you see before you two bolts. The longer one was the one that was dipped into the lemon juice and salt solution. The shorter one was never tampered with and is used for comparison. As you can see, the longer bowl already has a significant copper plate attached to it. I wanted to see just how substantial a copper plate I could put on the bowl. So the longer bolt has now been dipped in the solution for five days now. And you still have the shorter bolt as a comparison. As you can see, it has a substantial copper plate upon it. But why does it have that? Well, the copper from the pennies reacts with the acid in the lemon juice to form a new compound which is called copper citrate. When I put the bolt into the solution, the newly formed copper citrate compound plated the bolt with a thin but permanent layer of copper.